Hi everyone, my name is Tian. I'm a PhD student in computer science at Virginia Tech. Today I'm going to present our work, a simple and effective self-supervised contrastive learning framework for aspect detection. So first I will introduce the background of aspect detection, including its uh, definition, existing methods, and the challenges. Then I will move on to the uh, uh, proposed framework. Our work has uh, three key components, uh, self-supervised uh, contrastive learning, high-resolution selective uh, mapping, and uh, knowledge distillation. I will introduce the experiment uh, and uh, including the data sets and uh, analysis of uh, experimental results. Uh, finally, I will conclude this work. So, okay, let's first take a look at uh, aspect detection. In this task, our first goal is to discover aspects from online reviews. So the second goal is to retrieve segments that mention an aspect we are interested in. This table shows a review example that talks about a television from several different aspects, such as image, ease of use, and sound. Uh, it is very important for us uh, to develop uh, models uh, that can automatically discover these aspects uh, and uh, label these segments. Uh, for example, if customers are interested in the sound of a TV, they don't have to read thousands of the reviews. Uh, instead, uh, they can just uh, go through those reviews or review segments uh, that mention sound problems. Uh, this task will directly benefit many downstream tasks, such as sentiment analysis, summarization, question answering, and recommendation justification. Existing methods for aspect detection tasks fall into two different categories, unsupervised methods and weekly supervised methods. Here I list some deep learning based aspect detection methods in each category. The limitation of uh, unsupervised uh, methods include they can extract the noise aspect and they cannot cover all the aspects of uh, interest. And the quality of aspect mapping is uh, also very poor. Here, aspect mapping means the map model discovered aspects to aspects of interest. Uh, weekly supervised methods usually achieve better performance than on uh, supervised methods. However, they may also suffer uh, from different problems. Uh, for example, uh, they leverage human annotated data to uh, extract high quality aspect representation, uh, representative words, and they cannot automatically discover new aspects, and they cannot define keywords for general aspects. Here, general aspects means aspects that uh, we are not uh, interested in for now. Okay, in our work, we are interested in the unsupervised methods because we can easily apply them to uh, a review corpus of new products and discover new aspects. Here's the proposed framework. This framework has three key components. So the first component is a self-supervised uh, contrastive learning to get the model inferred aspects. Usually model inferred aspects can only be interpreted by representative keywords. In this step, we also need to label each review segment with an aspect label based on the model inferred aspect. So the second uh, uh, component is uh, aspect mapping, which uh, maps the uh, model inferred aspects uh, to aspects of uh, interest, or we call it uh, golden standard aspects. This uh, step is accomplished by human, by, uh, but the quality of aspect mapping also depends on the quality of uh, model inferred aspects. The third component uh, is a student model that's uh, can directly predict aspect labels for segments. This student model is trained through knowledge distillation and can achieve better performance than the original teacher self-supervised contrastive learning model. Okay, as mentioned in the last 
uh, slides. The goal of uh, self-supervised contrastive learning is to discover new aspects and uh, assign an aspect label to each review segment. To achieve this goal, we first get the embeddings for the words in the uh, review corpus. Then we map aspect embedding to the word embedding space through a self-supervised contrastive learning framework. So the learned aspect embedding will give us the model inferred aspects as well as aspects labels for different segments. In order to learn aspect embeddings through self-supervised contrastive learning, we need to construct two representations for each segment. The first one is based on word embeddings, while the second is based on aspect embedding. So to construct the first representation, we apply a smooth self-attention mechanism. Here, uh, the tan uh, in this equation uh, allows the model to capture multiple terms and the phrases instead of uh, a single word, so it can get more robust uh, representation. To construct a representation for, uh, based on aspect embeddings, we apply another attention mechanism. In this attention mechanism, the attention weights can be viewed as a probability distribution over different aspects. So we can get aspect label for this review segment based on the probability distribution. Here's the algorithm for self-supervised contrastive learning. Within each mini-batch, we first get two representations for each segment based on word embeddings and aspect embeddings. Then we calculate pairwise the cosine similarity between all the word embedding-based representations and all the aspect embedding-based representations. With these similarities, we can calculate the contrastive loss for each segment. Here, uh, our idea is to minimize uh, a distance between representations of the same segment and uh, maximize the distance between the representation of uh, different segments. We have also applied uh, uh, an orthogonal regularization to aspect embedding vectors. Finally, we will calculate the overall uh, loss function and uh, update uh, model parameters. The second part is aspect mapping. So which uh, will map uh, model inferred aspects to aspects of interest, uh, or we call it a gold standard uh, aspect. So previously for unsupervised aspect detection, well, to one uh, mapping and many to one mapping or widely used uh, aspect mapping methods. These methods lead to very poor and noisy aspect mapping. So to tackle this problem, we propose a high resolution selective mapping method for aspect learning and mapping. Here, high resolution means in the self-supervised learning framework, we set the number of model inferred aspects to a very large number, such as 30 or 50, so that the learned aspect has have less noise and good coverage. Selective mapping means that noisy or meaningless aspects will not be mapped to any gold standard aspect. So after aspect mapping, we can obtain the final aspect labels for segments. So with the aspect labels predicted by the self-supervised contrastive learning, we can further improve the aspect prediction performance through knowledge distillation. Here, the student model is composed of a segment encoder, a smooth self-attention layer, and a classifier. It leverages the power of pre-trained language models such as BERT. It also overcomes the disadvantage of data pre-processing for the self-supervised contrastive learning. For example, we remove stop words, punctuation, and unknown words in the self-supervised contrastive learning. 
which may change the meaning of uh, some segments. In the loss function, we have uh, incorporated a confidence measure based on entropy scores of uh, the predicted of the predictions given by the self contrastive uh, self supervised contrastive learning. The small entropy means uh, co uh, indicates uh, more confidence uh, uh, predictions. In this example, we will discard segment two uh, because uh, the entropy score is very high, which means uh, the model is uncertain about the prediction. Okay, we evaluate the performance of different models on restaurant reviews and Amazon product review corpus. For restaurant reviews, the training and the testing sets are from city search data sets. Well, the validation set is from some e well to some the 14 and 15 aspect based sentiment analysis task. So in this task, segments are treated as a sentence, sentences are treated as a segment. Follow previous work, we use three aspects, food, service, and ambience. For Amazon product review, there are six data sets across six different domains. The segments are elementary discourse units, and there are eight aspects and one general aspect for each data set. Here, general means that they are still meaningful and coherent, but we are not interested in them right now. In this table, we show nine annotated aspect labels for each data set. Let's first take a look at the performance on Amazon product review data set. In this table, we use micro averaged F1 scores as our evaluation metric to mirror the aspect detection performance of different models. First, we think that the low resolution magnitude one aspect mapping may be one of the problem for the low performance of aspect uh, based out to encoder. So we have uh, re-implemented this ABAE and uh, combined it uh, with uh, uh, high-resolution selective mapping. The new model obtains a significantly better results uh, compared with uh, uh, the traditional uh, ABAE on all the data sets. So this demonstrates that uh, high-resolution selective mapping is uh, effective in mapping model inferred aspects to a gold standard aspect. We also observed that uh, SSCL achieved better performance compared with ABAE, combining with uh, high resolution selective mapping. Uh, we also compare uh, our model with uh, weekly supervised baseline methods, uh, such as uh, MATE and teacher-student co-training methods. Our SSCL also achieve competitive performance. So this experiment demonstrates the effectiveness of the SSCL framework. So through the knowledge distillation, we uh, observe uh, the prediction, uh, the, we also uh, improve the prediction results. So we can conclude that the knowledge distillation is effective uh, in improve the quality of uh, aspect detection. So we have uh, conducted more detailed comparisons uh, on the city search datasets. So this dataset has been widely used to benchmark aspect detection models. Follow the previous work, uh, we use a weighted macro average uh, the precision record F1 score as a metric to evaluate the overall performance. Similar to results on Amazon review datasets, this experiment demonstrates the strength of a contrastive learning framework, high resolution selective for mapping, and knowledge distilling. So they can capture high quality aspects and effectively map a model inferred aspect to gold standard aspect and accurately predict aspect labels for the given segments. So in this slide, I show two tables to illustrate our aspect 
interpretation and mapping. So in each table, the first column are gold standard aspect and the second columns uh, are the model inferred aspects. As we mentioned in previous slides, each model inferred aspect is uh, interpreted by its uh, representative for keywords. So first we notice that there's at least one model inferred aspect corresponding to each of the gold standard aspect, which indicates model inferred aspects based on the high resolution selective mapping have a good coverage. We also find that model inferred aspects, which are map, uh, mapped to the non-general gold standard aspect are fine-grained and uh, the representative for keywords are meaningful and uh, coherent. So, and uh, from these two tables, we also find that it is very easy to map a model inferred aspect to gold standard aspect, uh, just based on the top representative for keywords. We have also observed that from model inferred aspects that have been assigned to general aspects, we can discover new aspects. For example, in the first table, we can label PC, Xbox, DVD, PS3 uh, as a new aspect uh, connected device. So uh, in conclusion, uh, this work has uh, three key co components, a self-supervised contrastive learning framework for aspect detection. So the, or, uh, the basic idea uh, for the SSCL is uh, to project aspect embeddings uh, to the word embedding space. Uh, we utilize uh, a smooth uh, self-attention mechanism for robust segment representations. Uh, and we also optimize uh, aspect embeddings uh, through a self-supervised contrastive learning mechanism. So uh, the second uh, component is a uh, high resolution selective mapping method for aspect mapping. So this uh, method can map uh, uh, maps uh, can map uh, model inferred aspects to aspects of interests. And it uh, achieved higher performance in aspect detection for both uh, uh, traditional ABAE and uh, our uh, SSCL. So the representative for keywords are meaningful and coherent uh, from our experiments. Uh, and the uh, model inferred aspe uh, aspects have uh, good coverage uh, um, to the uh, aspects of uh, interests. So uh, the third component is a knowledge distillation method that is used to uh, improve the performance uh, of uh, aspect prediction. So in this uh, uh, part, uh, we introduce uh, uh, an entropy filter uh, in the loss function to ensure that the student model uh, only focus on high confidence uh, samples. Uh, so the BERT-based student models uh, can benefit from the pre-trained language models uh, and uh, it can also overcome uh, the disadvantage of uh, data pre processing for uh, the uh, uh, basic uh, self-supervised uh, contrastive learning. So I'd like to thank my collaborator, um, Liu Qing, uh, Ping, and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Chandan Reddy. Uh, and this uh, work was uh, supported in uh, part uh, by the uh, U.S. National Sales Foundation grants uh, and uh, NVIDIA Corporation. So if you have uh, any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to email me. Uh, so you can also visit my website and uh, uh, GitHub uh, uh, page. Thank you.